After watching this video you will learn 3D effect of freezing objects in film or IX, like this. Hello video editors. I'm Sally Ali and welcome to Sally Tutorials. Perhaps many of you viewers are looking forward to this effect, but I present that effect at your service today. Before that, if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video sure to give a thumbs up. So let's get started. As you can see I have one background picture and three PNG pictures in the media. Drag the background picture to the timeline. If you need to crop the picture, crop it. OK. Set the duration of the background picture to 20 seconds. Grab the playhead and move it from here to 2 second of the timeline. Now drag and drop PNG pictures near the playhead in the second, third and fourth tracks. After dragging on the timeline, select all the PNG pictures on the timeline. And grab these pictures from their end heads and move their end to the end of the background image. Hide all PNG pictures tracks. Move the playhead to the start of the background picture. Double click on the background picture. Go to Animation and click Animation, and then Customize. Add a keyframe to the start of the background picture here. And then move the playhead to the end of the background picture. After moving the playhead to the end, add a keyframe to the end of the background picture. Now click on Start Keyframe. And increase the scale of the background picture in this keyframe. I scale it to 250. Click OK. So in the background picture we have created such a custom zoom out animation. Next, double click on the second track PNG picture. So the playhead will automatically move to the start of the PNG picture. Show second track. Now we have to add keyframes in the second track PNG picture. In the first frame, I take this picture off the screen on the left side of the display screen. Then move the playhead forward 2 seconds. We will now add the second keyframe. In this keyframe, place the picture in the lower left corner of the screen. Move the playhead forward again for about 3 seconds. And in this keyframe, keep the position of the picture slightly to the left of the center and reduce the scale. And for the fourth keyframe, move the playhead to the end of the picture. And reduce the scale of the picture in this keyframe as much as possible, but not too small and should be visible. And adjust the position. Remember to keep the animation speed of PNG picture and background picture equal. The second picture keyframe animation is finished. We will now apply keyframe animation to the third track PNG picture. Move the playhead between the second and third keyframes of the second track. Show third track PNG picture. Double click on the third track picture. Now we have to add a keyframe where the playhead is. And in this keyframe, the picture has to be placed in the corner on the bottom right side. 
move the playhead forward by about 4 seconds for the second keyframe. And in this keyframe, the position of the picture has to be drawn slightly from the corner to the screen, and the scale has to be reduced. Move the playhead 3 or 4 seconds forward for the third keyframe. And lower the scale of the image slightly in this keyframe. And move its position slightly upwards. For the fourth keyframe, move the playhead to the end of the picture. And in this keyframe, grab the picture with the bottom arrow on the right side. And reduce its scale through this corner like this. Remember that the second PNG picture should be slightly larger than the first PNG picture. The third picture keyframe animation is finished. We will now apply keyframe animation to the 4th track PNG picture. Show the 4th track PNG image. Move the playhead between the 2nd and 3rd keyframes of the 3rd track. Double click on the PNG picture of the 4th track. Now we have to add a keyframe where the playhead is. I take this picture off the screen on the left side of the display screen. Then move the playhead forward 2 seconds. We will now add the second keyframe. And in this keyframe, the position of the picture has to be drawn slightly from the corner to the screen. And the scale has to be reduced. For the third keyframe, move the playhead to the end of the picture. And in this keyframe, Keep the position of the picture slightly to the left of the center and reduce the scale. We made such an animation but it is not complete yet. We need to make it even more real. Export this video wants to make it even more real. Close this page after the video is exported. And delete all pictures from the timeline. And the video we just exported. Import it to media. And then drag and drop on the timeline. So you can see that this is the video that we exported and then dragged to the timeline. We will now adjust the speed to make this video more realistic. Now I split this video with every last zero in the timeline seconds. Now I put a speed of 2x on every second clip of this video. So with that, our 3D effect of freezing objects is ready, let's see. Please comment and let us know how you felt about today's 3D effect of freezing objects, we will be very grateful to you. And thanks a lot for the friends who share their opinions with us, so if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe, and as always, keep creating better video with solid tutorials, bye.